Hey guys, it's Anne, and today we're going to take a look in on the Vermi Bag Little Mammoth with the African night crawlers in it. All right, so today we take a look and we see all kinds of worms hanging out on the styrofoam. I'm going to flick the big ones off here best I can. Let's take a look and see what we've got going on here. It certainly looks like they are going through quite a bit of it. It has dropped quite a bit. Looks like we still have this, uh, I don't know, stuff from the fish tank. Still seems to kind of be alive. But it looks like also the worms are getting in on it. So I'll take it. And then let's see, this is the rubber tree plant leaf. Oh, we've got a, a little bit of a worm ball in the avocado shell. Just looking at the various things. Looks like they've done a really good job on that leaf. Look at that. I don't know if it's the mites or the, the worms, but they've certainly started uh, doing a good job. Looks like they're into the avocado. Keep pulling things out here. I think this is a lime. Open it up a little bit, let them get into it. Another avocado. So then I think we're getting into the actual feeding here. Which looks, smells like limes for sure. So here's another, you know, citrus is not a forbidden food. Here they are of their own free will eating a lime. Uh, I don't know what that was. Mushy, whatever it is. And I saw on Reddit somebody was talking about finding little bits of foil. I think that some of the food packaging that I shred also gets this little foil business on it. And I think it's because the paper is laminated, perhaps to make it uh, waterproof. Um, obviously the plant, the worms are not going to eat tin foil. So I do pick it out, but I know that somebody was asking about that on Reddit. So if you are also on YouTube and watching this, uh, that that is my best explanation as to what those tiny pieces of foil are. They might be coming from some of the food packaging that you shred. Obviously some of it's edible for worms and some of it is not. Okay, so we're gonna keep tossing things in here. I'll put a picture up on top as to what we fed last time. Of course I didn't remember to look. Must have had peppers in it. Look at all those little pot worms. It's weird, they're all on the stem. Let me see if I can find baby worms someplace. So I keep wanting to put a picture of baby worms next to pot worms so that people who are not familiar or not very experienced could t Ooh, I'm going to put this down here for a second. I think we may have found the worm ball. Oh, just, wow. I'm having a hard time finding the edge of the worm ball. Wow. So, yeah. Rubber tree plants are a go. But this is just one solid worm ball with a bunch of little sticks in the middle. That's banana. More banana. But yeah, that's, that's a lot of worms. But again, they're small, but look at what job they're doing. They're taking on an entire rubber tree plant leaf. Okay, there we go. I found it. So here is a picture. Hopefully I can hold still enough. No. Too much tea. What the baby worm go? Okay. All right, so there we have it. There is a baby worm right there next to that little red piece. And then the 
ones that are on top of the pepper stem are actually potworms. So that's the difference. You, they're about the same size, but potworms are snow white, and baby worms have a little bit of pink. There you go. I've been looking to do that for quite some time. But we've got a lot of worms that are all very interested in avocado. Now, I think we were also talking on that um, subreddit that uh, potworms like certain kinds of food. And when I do feed avocado that has some of the actual avocado flesh, I see potworms. They're not bad, they're helpers. But if you're wondering where did those things come from, they've always been there. They may not have been in enough numbers for you to notice. They're not messing with the worms, they're fine. Um, it's us humans that are, that are creeped out by them. I don't, the worms do not care. So that's our big giant worm ball that is just huge. And I don't usually keep track of how many worms are in this system, but I continue to find worms in this worm ball. I'm willing to bet there's probably 10 pounds of worms in here total. I did put a massive amount of water in here last time, probably close to a gallon. And uh, I came in just in time. It looks like it's going to need it again. You can see the sides of the, the vermi bag are very dry. So let's get our little wormies off to one side here. And it looks like this one avocado might grow. Looks like it tried to grow and then it died again. I don't know. So I'm seeing that we have a little bit of banana left. Looks like they're doing quite well on the bedding. We didn't give any bedding last night. Last night? No. Last time. So I'm pretty sure they could use a little bit more bedding. So let's kind of dig them a hole here for their feeding today. And then we'll put the old food in on top here. Get everything on the bottom. And then we will bring in the new food. We had another batch of kiwis go bad. I don't, I do not know. I'm not going to buy any more until spring. But these things were just flat out yucky. I'm not really sure what this is. Tortillas maybe? So bananas, onions, kiwis. Oh my, yeah, so lots of kiwis. So let's uh, get them some bedding to put on top of this. So one big handful, two big handfuls, all right, three big handfuls. And then I'm going to take the castings that we dug out, kind of flip them on top get all the, the good bacteria inoculated into the, the new bedding. And then I'm going to go grab the water and I'll be back. Okay. So this is just aged tap water. Kind of trying to focus around the edges because that's where it seems to be the most dry. And then in the summertime, I would never do this just because the humidity in the house is much higher. But right now, the humidity in the house is like 35 or 40 to, um, percent. So that's never going to be okay. I'll pin the last video up at the top. And then at the end, I'll pin it again, just in case you wanted to go all the way through the video before clicking on to the next thing. There will also be a link in the description below the video where you can also find it. If you like this video, give it a muddy thumbs up. If you're not a member of my worm family, click that subscribe button. And if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it, ring that bell icon. 
right, guys. Thanks for hanging out with me and my worms and everybody. Have a good day.